Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a birthday card and you can see I started by showing you that grid right there and that's like the layout I'm going to be doing and then I sketched in some llamas and some um, words for the front sentiment and now I'm doing some masking. So I'm masking out some different areas and I'm going to stamp in some kind of tea themed so like little cups and then this cute teapot i'm going to stamp those in and i'm just using some post-it notes to mask off different areas so that they all snug in nice and neat and i can walk you through the process and the thoughts behind making this card in a second but for right now i'm just going to be stamping in some different items that are kind of birthday-ish and then tea related so for this card, so I wanted something that was really cute and fun, so I kind of went with this sort of blocky, almost cartoon strip sort of look, but I wanted it to be fun and more pastel colors, so I went with a soft pink, soft purple, soft green that kind of thing instead of bright more in your face colors and then I also wanted to include these cute little llamas so I drew some llamas in there and then I did make some images stay inside of their box but then other images I let sort of stick out and go past the black so the little squares that they kind of are stationed inside of some of them like the llama to the far left his little ears are kind of coming out of his little box and i thought that that gave it some cute different textures so now at this point i'm going in with my fine liner and i'm going to darken up all my pencil sketch lines and just draw in the actual figures so i had a few stamps that i could actually use and then i had a few things like the llamas that i just was going to sketch in with my pencil and then darken up with my fine liner afterwards i also will darken up the sentiment bubbles and the outer like little rectangles and boxes that are around these llamas and other items and I'll come in and also write out those little sentiments inside of the bubbles with a fine liner as well. So this card was lots of fun to make and it's it has quite a few elements so that's why this video is going to be a little bit longer because there's quite a few elements that had to get drawn in and stuff like that. I didn't have a lot of stamps for this one so if you did have an animal stamp that you wanted to use that would make this process go by a little bit quicker you would have to do a little bit more masking to make sure that they stayed inside of their little squares that you draw out but since I didn't have stamps for them I just drew them where I wanted them to fit so I didn't actually have to do as much masking because I didn't have stamps but at this point I'm drawing in some more of those little swiggly lines I have outside of that one sentiment bubble. And I came up with a cute little sentiment for this one. So it's kind of going to lead your eye from the top left corner all the way down to the bottom right corner. But I'm just taking my time and outlining all of those little llamas in my black fine liner.
now I'm going in and I'm going to write out those funny little sentiment words that I have written in the bubbles and I'm going to get those written in and then it's going to be on to the coloring. And for the coloring I'm going to use biennial markers and I'm, those are alcohol markers and I will have the cap colors to the left of the screen so that you guys can follow along.
I did decide to make this card relatively flat in the aspect of not doing a ton of shading and highlighting, but for the sentiment bubbles, I decided I would add a few different shades of the color and try to make it, them look a little bit more dimensional. But to keep the chaos level down, I decided not to do any other highlighting and shading. Onto the llamas, I decided to add in a very pale color for their little face, ears, and their little tail. But for their fur, I decided to keep it relatively plain and just make it stay white. But I'm going to give them little rosy cheeks and blend that out. But for the most part, the llamas were quite simple.
So now the only step left is to glue this down onto our yellow card base and I'm gluing it down with some Barely Art liquid glue. I didn't think it needed any dimensional adhesive, it was fun enough without that. So I'm going to glue that down and then I also decided to show you guys some card little tags that can go along with the card. So if you're giving someone a card and then also a gift, I thought it would be kind of fun to have the gift tags matching the card. These takes were simple enough because I just kept with the same sort of um, design and I made like a little rectangle for the image to go inside of and then I did the same sort of coloring which isn't very much shading at all but just fun colors and I glued them down to little strips of that same yellow color that I used for the card base. On some of these tags, you could write the to and from on the front. There's enough room up in the top section, or you can of course flip the tags and write it on the back and just punch a hole in the top of the tag and tie it onto your present. So these were very versatile and I did make two little um, opening tags. So they're slightly smaller, but they can open, which is also a cute type of tag but I think that these turned out really cute and I really liked the overall design so I enjoyed making the tags and the card so I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and that you will subscribe to my channel so you can see more stuff like this in the future thank you so much for watching bye